And we're here with Lindsay Miller with Artisan. Lindsay, uh, welcome to the program here in the Dell booth. Thank you, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Now, we don't normally plug um, companies here at the event floor. Uh, it's outside of our editorial uh, purview, if you will. But Artisan is a, is a particularly new brand. Can you tell us uh, about Artisan? Yeah, Artisan is an established company that's been around for quite a while, but we have a fairly new brand because we spun out of Emerson, Emerson Network Power, about two years ago. So. Um, we're, we're glad to be here. Uh, we've been partnering with Dell for quite a while in the telecom space, and um, our core business is embedded computers. We're about a $1.2 billion company, 20,000 employees, and offices around the world. Of course, Lindsay, uh, 5G as IoT and NFE is all over the floor here um, at Mobile World Congress. Why are carriers um, so concerned about this lead up, this build up to 5G? And before we get into the technology, just tell us on a, maybe on a higher level what the concerns are. Yeah, I mean, 5G is another chance for us to improve the network and there are some specific problems that need to be solved today. We've got more and more users and more and more devices that needed, need to be connected. I mean, we, we all talk about IOT and what that means for the future. It means that so many more connected devices than are connected today uh, will exist. And even, even by this year, we'll have more connected devices than humans on the planet. So um, it's, it's going to be great because a lot more things will happen autonomously as a result of that. But even on a human level, our, our habits and our consumption patterns have changed so much even since LTE has been deployed. We need more and more bandwidth. We're streaming videos over the top instead of watching them on the linear cable network, for example. And so with the 5G spec coming and with its ability to offer users 50 megabits per second to any user anywhere, that means that the network inherently has to change to rise to that challenge. And for operators, they don't necessarily have the luxury of monetizing all of that increased uh, capability. So they need to figure out how they can be profitable while also improving the user experience. And that is the promise of 5G, but some of those problems exist in the here and now. And that's you know, the, the road to 5G that we'll see happening. Let's get into the really the, the guts of the hardware and what's really going to support 5G technologies. Uh, CRAN and VRAN are mm -hmm. uh, technologies and solutions really for uh, the advent of 5G. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, CRAN and VRAN are getting a ton of buzz at the show this year. Um, it's been really exciting. Um, we've been working very closely with Intel around these concepts. I think what they mean is the beginning of the new network topology leading up to 5G. Those solutions need to happen now. A um, Couple reasons, I'll give you an example. Um, when, when you are dealing with a, a, a large amount of users in a small space, so imagine a, a sports stadium or a crowded shopping mall, you need to uh, provision your network for peak capacity. If you do that with the type of technologies and, and uh, solutions that are available today, that means a lot of bespoke appliances and very costly network implementation. But by taking advantage of NFE and taking advantage of virtualization, you can actually take some of that radio infrastructure and dynamically allocate the workload based on what the user needs. So as, as one of my colleagues, um, Dan Lynch, who is actually running the, the demos over in the Intel booth, explains it. It's like the network is breathing out and breathing in based on what capacity it needs. So the shopping mall could be full of users or the concert could be full of users who want to upload their videos to Instagram or, or to Facebook and next second that whole place could be empty. Does it really make sense to provision for peak capacity and have a lot of idle equipment? No, you can actually virtualize a lot of that infrastructure now and build out and allocate the workload across the network based on what the network needs and based on how the network is moving. And that's, a, that's the essential function of the virtual RAN. Now for uh, virtual RAN and CRAN, were those the solutions and technologies that uh, made you partner with the Intels and, the, and, and Dell as, as well? Was that the reason or was, did that happen prior to that? A lot of it happened actually because carriers were starting to, to um, adopt the concept. Um, the IETF has a working group called Mobile Edge Computing, which is defining some of these new architectures. 
And so they, they came to Artisan looking for a good hardware solution, same thing with Dell. And so um, with the VRAN, Artisan is showing a solution with Intel, it takes advantage of Intel Xeon D processors, um, which basically gives you lots of cores with a lower power footprint, which means less ca CapEx investment for the carriers and a lot more capability in a smaller space. With Dell, Dell has released its DSS 9000, is featuring it here at the show, and that is um, basically a hyperscale implementation that allows you to take a lot of that baseband processing and do that in, in the cloud side of the network. So you can take a lot of that capability and dynamically allocate it out as needed. And so we have developed um, a product called MaxCore, which has a variant that goes inside the Dell DSS 9000 and can implement this cloud RAN technology using high core count processors with low power, which is really good solution for the operators because it means they can get a lot more capability for a lot lower cost. Now we've been talking about 5G uh, probably a half a dozen times on this stage since I've been here since Monday. Yeah. But CRAN and VRAN are things that we haven't talked about yet, so I'm glad you came in the 11th hour and we talked about that at least briefly. Yeah, yeah, it's getting a lot of buzz here at the show. I mean, we're excited to see, um, like, uh, on our demonstrations with Intel, um, we're working with SK Telecom and Telefonica. Uh, they've made announcements this week adopting those technologies. We also have demonstration with China Mobile around the CRAN and the mini CRAN, which is another variant that's uh, very important in the, in the China network. It was good talking to you, Lindsay. Nice talking to you too. Thanks for having me. Sure. <laughs>